Everything's ready at my end. No reason to wait. Let's go. Oh, meant to tell you. Can't get to the circle through the mountains. Rockslide blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side, like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten that. He who returns with his medallion will prove himself worthy and may set off on the path. Sabola's Breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. Doesn't bother me, though. Not expecting anyone to lay siege, and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those Salamandra assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. Been thinking. You gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow. Never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in and scoop up whatever floats to the surface. <laughs> that makes sense. Tell me about Vesemir. Things will be better between you. Seems so. Old man's dropped the moralizing, and I try not to piss him off to him. Mm -hmm. Working out well? Moderately. Castle's pretty big. Easy to stay out of each other's way. Damn it! I moored it right here, I swear! Line must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. Damn it. In this fog, we'll never... There a storm before I arrived? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Hmm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring, boat drifted into the bushes.
last thing we need. Cave entrance is just opposite, see it? Gotta sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old spear tip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. That's still gnawing at you? Gnawing? No. Straight old pisses me off. What the fuck was that trial for? Most who returned from the Circle of Elements died within a year in some swamp, hunting drowners for Crown 30 ahead. So exactly what was the point? Ought to ask Vesemir. Oh, I have. Many times. Believe you me. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat, not up for discussion. Yourself? Yeah. Something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. Barely see the tip of my nose. Fog's thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Want to hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. Fall off a bit. Sails fluttering. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Right, almost there. Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside. Ugh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom? Like, step softly or you'll wake old spear tip? Old spear tip's still down there? Yeah, he is. Unless he's done us a favor and killed over on his own. Could come at us at any moment. How'd the rhyme go? Old spear tip's a deep sleeper. Wake him up and you'll sleep deeper. Come on. Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's gotta be an illusion. What if it's not? <laughs> Whatever you want to do. We'll investigate, just in case. You know, Vesemir's right. You do poke the damn hive. 
almost always fine. Let's go. You're safe now. No! No! Help! Fine. Consider yourself vindicated. You were right. Well, well, what do you know? We can talk about that later. Got the fog that's to take care of now. You're not going to let this drop anytime soon, are you? No, I will not. In fact, whole world should hear about the time the famed Geralt of Rivia was duped like a child. Think we ought to get Dandelion to write a ballad about it. How's that sound? When someone's life might be threatened, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Enough said. Of course. The noble white wolf never abandons a man in need. He's more saint than Witcher. Changing subjects. Did I see right? Was that boy... Yeah, one of ours. Must have drowned during his trial. Foglets remembered his voice and appearance. Charming. Let's get out of here. Needn't ask me twice. In fact, I didn't even want to come here. Lambert, enough. Spear tip's never been kind to guests. Shit, too damn high. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Oh, you fat fuck. 
One, two, three. You're no feather either. Come on, let's go. Mm. Wall looks a little shaky. Hard, maybe? Mm -hmm. And awake old spirit ain't not stomping like that. Relax, I slipped. Something fell in my eye. Splinter, I think. Hope it wasn't from a broken mirror. That'd make you even nastier. Ha uh ha. -huh. Ugh. Place reeks of mold. What did you expect? Scent of violets? <laughs> Would've been nice. Ah, so soft and sweet, just sleeping there. Makes you want to make this moment last forever. Just lost the elements. <laughs> For Voltaire, you whore son. <laughs> Voltaire, who's that? Don't remember? Little guy, a scar on his chin right here. Oh, yeah, I remember. All we can do now. Never made it out of here. Let's go. Good to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. Don't know who you're trying to impress. Tough guy stuff's just not working on me. <laughs> Look who's talking. Vesemir told me about that job you did for those Nilf guardians in Velen. What? What are you doing? Killing. <laughs> Good one. Just came out that way. Come on. Ha! <laughs> 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 
see him shit and run as soon as he saw us? Mm -hmm. Never known a troll to do that. Just is to walk no more. We stop uh, East Mountain, Trolley Mountain, Troll Mountain. Huh? Oh, uh, hi, this Troll Mountain. Ah, uh, you talk to these idiots. Take my advice. You don't want to mess with us. Trolley advice take? No! Trolls advice. And witches takes must it. Ah, uh, enough! Out of my way, dimwits, or I'll grind you to gravel. Understand? <laughs> mm hmm, they understood all right. Congrats. Run for the cave! Before they stone us to death! Far more! Which is his understanding? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the Circle of Elements. Listen, but we. Trolls come know the Witcher's castle. Lock Slotler. Let him rock. Enjoying this little chat? Cause uh, it's not getting us anywhere. I'm talking. Fact is, you know as much about negotiating as they do about grammar. We're not here to hurt you. We don't want to touch your rocks. Just let us pass. Troll, rock, troll. Witches see strike no back. Just talky talky. Witcher, good? Only you. Witcher says monster kills trolls, monsters. Yes, true is. No face, Mike. Mm. Um, we do go this. Use sharp back clubs leave here. Use pass. No quiz. We smash. No way. Witcher without his sword? It'd be like losing an arm. Better arm lose than head!
Just a few steps more, and we're there. Ooh, that's some serious panting. Out of breath, out of shape. Nah, just a bit hungover. Been hitting the hooch with Eskel again? No, been hitting it alone. Denying that. Damn. Beautiful view. We can soak it in later. Of course. Duty before pleasure. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. I'll handle the rest. Go. Water, then earth, then air. All right, phylactery's in place. Then all we gotta do is wait. The container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather. So, how'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion? Let me think. Oh yeah, used Axie, but I only had to get past one troll, other two were busy. Yeah, useful sign, Axie. Saved my life a short while ago. Sense a good story coming. One of the best. A couple of road robbers stopped me. One pointed a crossbow at me and the other started rummaging through my satchel and made the man with the crossbow shoot his friend and then hang himself. Wow. Truly great story. Isn't it? Real side-splitter, I think. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No. I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to care Morhen. It's that bad being a witcher? Guess I could have been someone worse. Just a shame I had no choice. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. He'd knock a few back, then beat me and mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern walked smack into a nest of Neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Know what? Let's get out of here. Don't like what you're hearing, huh? Witchers shouldn't talk like that. Know what else you won't like? After the trial of the medallion, I rode straight home to thank my daddy for everything. Wanna hear what I did to him? Lambert, please. Thought we were opening up, having an honest talk. But fine, let's continue pretending everything's just peachy. The road beckons, my good man. Our companions await. Get back. After you, sir.
must be Eskel's prints. No one else has left the keep recently. against this tree. A clump of goat hair. Ugh, a stench. Supposed to be forktail bait. <laughs> Guess it works for witchers as well. As for forktails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full. And sharp as ever, in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Good to finally see you again. You too. How are things? Same old, same old. Another day, another drowner. That it? I'm a simple witcher wolf. Don't fight dragons, don't fraternize with kings, and don't sleep with sorceresses. Unlike some. Fame's not all it's made out to be. Consider myself lucky if I were you. You're right. Takes a lot of champagne to wash down all that caviar. That is tough going. Shh. Hear that? Incoming.
not scared to leave the horse down below, Forktail could decide to have it. <laughs> Scorpion's a war horse. A purebred Kedwani. He'll be fine. Have I told you how I got him? No, don't think so. Saved his lost night once. You know, woods, dark, wolves, the standard. Told him, give me what you find at home. Bleeding heavily. From an artery. Blood's light colored. Can't fly much further. The old hen she cackled. She cackled on the fence. The old hen she cackled. And she ain't cackled since. What's that song? Some old hill folk tune. Perfect for hiking. My mom sang it to me. You remember her? Just that silly song. Nothing else. It's done fleeing. Mm. Gonna make I a want stand. to look around some. Collect the spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull. Yen tell you why she wants this? Mean you don't know? And that, uh, doesn't bug you? No, it doesn't. I trust her. And they say people learn from their mistakes. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Something about Yen bothering you? Come on, grow a pair. Give it to me straight. You grow a pair and admit she tricked you more than a few times. That was then. Yen's changed. Right. <laughs> Fine, never mind. Let's go. Wolf. Say to a little race, maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion, and who's the better rider. Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow, but why not? You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, Morhen wins!
Finally. Took you a while. Saddle kept sliding. Mm-hmm. Not a crappy show dancer out there who doesn't blame her shoes. You're a fucking show dancer. But one who's damn good on horseback. Didn't wager anything, but can't help thinking you deserve a prize. Since you insist. Here. Use it wisely.
provide you everything you need. Splendid. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us. But it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion. But I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn, with Uma, or whoever hides inside him. vesemir has gotten a bit grumpy in his old age. That was nothing. Should have been here last winter when Lambert tried to convince him we ought to abandon Kaer Morin for good. What good's this old ruin anyway? Moldy walls, leaky roof, and it's one big fucking ice cube in the winter. Vesemir didn't say a word. Stood, grabbed his sword, and slammed the door on his way out. Didn't come back for a month. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or, we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Do as you will. But in a moment, Geralt and I must talk. Ooh, sounds serious. Come on, Lambert. See you in a bit, Geralt. Something not quite right? No, nothing. I just wanted to take you aside, without clearing the others into what we're up to. Mm-hmm. And what are we up to? Sneaking upstairs to make love. Wow. You don't exactly mince words. I'm too old to play the blushing bride. Unless you ask nicely. Shall we go? You can rejoin them afterwards. In an hour. Or two. Well, well. Lovebirds decided to join us. Enjoy yourselves? You heard the answer to that question, Lambert. Besides, not our business. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Where'd you go while you were away, Esco? Aldersburg. Hunted a higher vampire. Oh ho ho! Dangerous horse sons, those. Finicky, too. The specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My client threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there, too, disguised. Let me tell you. Never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. 
went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. What have you been up to, Lambert? Any interesting contracts before you set off in search of Carradin? Uh, yeah. Contract and land exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush, I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble. Attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense. Get to the point. Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll. And a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Pragmatic as ever. You could stand to show some of Lambert's expediency. Set ideals like justice for trolls aside, keep yourself out of poverty instead. Knew the sorceress would see it my way. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. We're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He could cut plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? A sore spot, I guess. Lambert, not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious. Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only. You'll fucking what? Mind your manners, Lambert. Did you hear what- Not gonna ask you again. Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first- Hmm. How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great, but we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years. Decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten. And that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Samavilla contract Eskel got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. 
first. Some more fuel. Ooh. Now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. What's this about Osama Villa? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yoko fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own with a fishing mat. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. Will you ever lay off Yen? Yeah, as soon as I trust her. You brave a fire for her. Whereas she plays you like a cheap fiddle. Way it's always been. Listen to you two goddamn relationship experts. Neither of you's been with a sorceress. For good reason. Fine. Leave pretty boy alone before he gets grumpy. Already has that pouty look on his face. Can't stand it. Drink up, girl. To you and Yen. Happily ever after. <laughs> Colder and up a nice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. You and Lambert get along? In a way. I've learned not to talk to him about certain things. Guessing that's quite a list. <laughs> it is. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Alcohol, my good man, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. Men, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Esco. I'll pour. To the brim. Cause without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cast. How about a round of cards? Why not? Playing for coin though, right? You'd rather play strip quint. Maybe I'd finally come to understand what women see in me. Compare your trouser snakes later. Pox is on the table. <laughs> What's with him? Don't worry about it. Let's play.
Good game, Geralt. Especially that move with the... Esco. He doesn't need any praise, just pour. Come on. Let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kinda... Slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen. There's this game. Student from Oxenford taught me. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, I've never, and finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing, downs a shot. Then it's the next guy's turn. Sounds great. You start. I've never slept with a succubus. I'm a sucker for women with horns. Right, my turn. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. Geralt? Lambert's a lost cause, but you? What would Papa Vesemir say? I think Papa Vesemir would have drank that round too. All right, Geralt, your turn. I've never... Jumped out a lover's window. That's so. Must have been one tough character whose wife you were plowing. That wasn't it. He was a friend. Didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah. You're a true friend. Right. Man. Let's end on that. Or else I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <sighs> Vodka. Vodka's gone. Who's gonna go get some more? Already went. To get food. All right, I'll do it. Kitchen. It's that way, right? Oh, Amber. Bud, gotta tell you something. Yeah? Sometimes you're... a real jackass, but... I love you, brother. Then sometimes you're a real blowhard. But damn it, I go to hell and back for you. Come here, yo. Damn. Broke. Good thing it was empty. Where's that going? Chilling back by now. We had to look around. This is a job for Vesemir. Not again. Take that hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wander off to? He could be beleaguered. I wager. Come, men, to the rescue! Had to kneel down to see that. If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. Esco, chop, chop.
Disco, you drunk! Get out of here! Eskol! 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 Hey, you hear that? It sounds like panting of a wounded wyvern. Damn it! We missed a fight. I think he, I think he hurt himself. What's one scar more or less in his case? Makes no difference. Uh huh. Eskel's close. Hang in there, brother. We're coming. Hey, look. There he is. With his ever faithful little bleeder. Hello, Esco. Wake up. Uh, what? What happened? Got sloshed, stewed, and 57 other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Time to have a drink. Leave me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us get together, always ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Not here, but Yen. Oh, we don't want to wake her up, believe me. What about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that sound? Remember, believe you've had your last drink. You're just jealous you didn't think of it first, but is that any reason to spoil it for us? I don't have the strength to argue. Of course you don't, cream puff. Bet I could take you with one finger. Hey, relax, Lambert. Wanna fight? Huh? Wanna? Come on! Good night. <laughs> Everyone's up and at him. Hmm. And reeking of booze. That hat was a memento, Lambert. Relax, old man. It'll come out in the wash. You can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Guess your gravestone and hemlock method didn't work. Not entirely, but I did learn something. While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him, essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh or a moan. And it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit, but I suppose I have to trust you. Thought we got rid of that table ages ago. Uh, must be 50 years since I last saw Sad Albert. Couldn't bear to part with it. Thought we might find a use for it one day. You know how old people are. Sure. Every grandpa out there's got an attic full of torture devices. So what now? 
We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we... Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop! You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportion? Performed a series of complex calculations. Extrapolated simulations. And simulations. Meaning, you guessed. Mm. Potions ready. Tools, too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know. Done this before. Eskel. Make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. The hook we'd work? If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock. Killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within no norms. Administer the next potion. Why'd you keep the table, then? Geralt, next potion. to do their work. Might take a day, might take more. You need only wait. True. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... Yeah! Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags? On it. No. The trial. If that's Siri in there, she could come out of this crippled. Wrong in the head. Just emotionless. Thought about that? I trust you. She knows what she's doing. Don't doubt that. But do we know what she's doing? She tell you how likely this is to work? Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. 
And I need to be wiped down as well. No offense, but I'd rather Geralt did it. Understood. I'd prefer that too. Witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen, you're dozing off. No, I'm just arresting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. Pinching's apparently effective. Later, perhaps. For now, talk to me. Tell me a story. Heard about the time Siri and I went ice skating? No, not that I recall. The winter she trained here. A couple months in, she started complaining I was too harsh a teacher. Brushed it off at first. Then she asked me to go skating with her. Didn't really want to. I'd never been before. But she insisted. As soon as we hit the ice, she started skating circles around me, hollering, No, not like that. Footwork. One, then the other. Crossover. No, wrong. Break with the heel of your skate, not the toes. Needless to say, from then on... He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arwen. Arwen. Sam. In Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. 
I tried to protect her. But the curse... The hunt... has not found the isle... as yet. It is a matter of time. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. Is he gonna make it? I can't... No. You saw. Not all went as planned. I lifted the curse, but... The trial has wrought havoc in his body. Violently twitching fingers, pupils that don't react to the light. I've seen it many times before. Too many. Toxins have permanently damaged his nervous system. Even if he does pull through, do you understand? I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this Avalon? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? What's your suggestion? Siri can't flee forever. One day she'll stumble, and she won't get a second chance. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here. And the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. If we plan to fight them, we five, in a crumbling castle. Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. What do you plan to do? I've Avala to care for. He's certain to die without gentle gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than not. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good looking women in that batch? Exclusively. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla your love. Come back quickly, Geralt. 